everyone. Welcome back to Mrs. Perna's class. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a prehistoric cave drawing here on my brown paper. And we're going to be using oil crayons, but we're also going to be using some chalks. The chalks are great because they're an easy way to draw lines lightly. And if you don't like them, you can kind of erase them a little bit with your fingers. I'm going to draw myself a nice big mammoth and then maybe I'll add a saber tooth that's hunting him. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna decide my mammoth's gonna be fairly large. I don't want him too small. So I'm gonna start by making an oval very lightly. I'm gonna make the body there. I'm gonna make the head there. I'm not pushing hard. I'm just using it to give myself an idea where I want the animal to go in the picture. I'm gonna be drawing a letter U coming off the front oval. I'm going to draw a second letter U that comes down. This will be the trunk for my mammoth. I am also going to add some feet. They are rectangle shapes. I'm going to do one on this side and one on this side. I'm also going to add a line that will become the tail. Add an ear shape. And yeah, it does look like an elephant right now, which makes sense because they are a distant okay, relative. Okay, we're going to continue of the with our elephant. Mammoth, this is going, going to, to be. Switch out. I'm going to go from the chalk to an oil pastel. This is going this is to a be reddish brown because the that's trunk, the further. The further I mean, excuse me. The tusks so I'm gonna start by putting some of thick my mammoth fur and hair and details, details on the, on the head. I'm going to go around his ear, put some fur there. I'm going to add long strands of fur on the body. Down the front. And I can even color in. <laughs> so keep adding fur. And now I'm going to put some color on his feet. Just like that. Now I'll do his tail, add some color there. Having a day. All right. There we go. Edit. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue coloring where his hair is on his head. I'm going to color in his head. I'm going to go around his tusks. So now I have just a colored in version of my mammoth. Here's his trunk. I'm not worried about the white. The white will get covered up in the next few steps. So it's not a big deal. So there's the general shape of my mammoth. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub to get some blending done like that with some of the color. It's another way to cover up some of the brown of the paper showing through. I'm going to switch off to a darker brown and I'm going to add some dark brown underneath to give a little bit of shadow under his belly, on his feet, coming down here, nice, under his ears outline around his ears so they show better and there we go maybe under his trunk too all right finally I'm going to switch to a black oil crayon and I'm going to add his eye I am going to outline around his trunk so his trunk shows better add some detail lines there rounded the tusks be careful not to rub on the tusks because the tusks are only made with chalk oh my oil crayon broke and put a line on there I didn't want. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Add some fur lines so the fur shows better. Go around his ear, shows better. And there we go. Around his feet. Nice thick black line helps his body show all the way up. And his tail, don't forget the tail. All right, so I'm gonna take some white oil crayon and I'm gonna put a little white oil crayon near the top add some more colors to my cave picture and now I'm gonna add some blending I'm not gonna go crazy I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wipe the whole thing because if you wipe the whole thing you'll lose some of your details so we're gonna follow around we're gonna follow around Get some more details in and there we go so that is the beginning. This is my mammoth, and um, I will see you later. You can add more decorations and designs around the edges. 
Thanks for stopping by. All right, we're gonna add a few more details. One of the things I like to add is I like to take the white and outline around the animal just because it makes it pop. Really makes it show good on the paper. Just go around. You can also add symbols. The prehistoric people would use symbols They'd use dots, they'd use lines, they'd put decorations. Sometimes they might tell a story of where they were hunting. So you can add symbols, like the line with the circle. Maybe that's a symbol for hunting. Maybe zigzag lines, what could they be? What do you think zigzag lines could be, guys? Mountains. Mountains, Mountains? yeah, all right, so maybe let's, what if we add, what do you think this means? Yeah, so maybe we're telling the story of how to find the mammoth. Maybe for hunting, you have to travel over one, two, three, four, five, six mountains and have to go across two rivers before we can find out where our mammoths are grazing. So you could even add your own idea of a story to our cave painting. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I agree. I love it. It's so much fun. So add your outline. And now when you're done, here's the best part of all. See it? Take it. You all are so upset, aren't you? But here's the reason why we do that. Number one, it makes it look like it's on a rock, on the wall of the cave. Awesome, right? Yeah, he's so awesome. You could also, if you want at the end, you could take your your either black or your white and you can add a little bit of shading on your borders to make it look like it is an actual piece or a chunk of rock that we took off the wall. And there we go. I love it. But it's a cave. Caves are dirty. <laughs>